Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Top 25 Hungarian Phrases Szia Hello The first one is Szia, which means hello. Szia But if I say it to all of the viewers, then I would say Sziasztok And this is an informal way of greeting people. So please use it with someone who is the same age as you or younger than you. You can use it with uh, uh, people who are older than you or in more high position, just in case they allow you to use this informal way. They usually say that, yeah, you can you can greet me like this or you can call me like that and then it's a green light for saying see ya. If you address more than one person, you should say see ya stok. So this is how you greet a group of people. Jó reggelt. Good morning. Jó reggelt. Good morning. This is what you say in the morning. It's usually used in Hungary from early morning until around 11 a.m. And it literally means good morning. Jó means good and reggel means morning. Jó napot. Good afternoon. Jó napot. Good afternoon. You use this after jó reggel, so from around um, 11 a.m. This also literally means good day. Jó means good and nap means day. Don't use it with uh, kids because it would sound a little bit weird. But yeah, in general, in general, you can use it with uh, strangers. Just greet them. Jó napot. Good afternoon. And yeah. Jó éjszakát. Good night. Jó éjszakát, good night. This is what you say before going to sleep or when you part with someone in the evening and you won't meet again until the next day. So, jó means good and éjszaka means night. So, jó éjszakát means good night. Mi a neved? What's your name? Mi a neved? What's your name? Mi a neved is an informal way to ask someone's name. If you would like to be more formal, please use Mi a neve? Én vagyok. I'm Én Léna vagyok. I'm Léna. This is how you introduce yourself. So you have to use Én, which means I, I am, and then say your name and then Vagyok, which is to be in Hungarian. So, én Lena vagyok. I'm Lena. You know, you can use it either in a formal or an informal situation. Örvendek. Nice to meet you. Örvendek. Nice to meet you. You use örvendek, nice to meet you, in a more formal situation. When you just greet friends or friends of your friends, you don't necessarily need to say this, otherwise you will sound a little bit formal. But it's not totally wrong, it's just you wouldn't sound as friendly. Hogy vagy? How are you? Hogy vagy? How are you? This is an informal way to ask this question and if you would like to be more formal, please use Hogy van? So informal is hogy vagy, and then a more formal is hogy van. Köszönöm jól, és te? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Köszönöm jól, és te? I'm fine, thank you. And you? This is how you respond when someone asks you how are you in Hungarian, hogy vagy? So let's see a situation. Hogy vagy? Köszönöm jól, és te? Kérem, please. Kérem, please. This can be used um, either at the beginning of 
the sentence or what you want to say or at the end. For example, kérem hozzon egy menüt. Please bring me a menu. Or you can use it as ne tegye oda a táskáját, kérem. Don't put your bag there, please. Köszönöm. Thank you. Köszönöm. Thank you. This is a very common way to say thank you. There are different levels to say thank you. So you can add an extra word in front or at the end or both ways. So for instance, nagyon köszönöm means thank you very much. Szívesen. You're welcome. Szívesen. You're welcome. Can you say this after you hear someone saying thank you to you and you were happy to help out or or give them something and then you just say szívesen. Igen. Yes. Igen. Yes. Szereted a macskákat? Do you like cats? Igen. Yes. Nem. No. Nem. No. Szereted a pókokat? Do you like spiders? Nem. No. Oké. Okay. Oké. Okay. Okay. This word comes from English. Probably it's easier for Hungarian speakers to pronounce it that way. So we just say a sound E at the end. So it sounds OK instead of OK. Elnézést. Excuse me. Elnézést. Excuse me. You can say it in different situations. You can say it when you're at the restaurant and you would like to call the waiter or you can say it in a store when you would like to catch the shop assistant attention or you can even say it if you bump into someone accidentally and you want to say, you know, excuse me. Um, yeah. It's pretty universal, so elnézést means excuse me. Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Um, when you say bocsánat, it's more like you mean it more. So please use it when you're sorry for something that, you, that you've done, a mistake or you hurt somebody or um, you can use it as well when you're walking down the street and you step on someone's feet then you can say bocsánat as well. Mennyi az idő? What time is it? Mennyi az idő? What time is it? This is uh, neither formal or informal so you can ask it from anyone. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just say Mennyi az idő, when you are asking for the time. Mere van a mosdó? Where is the restroom? Mere van a mosdó? Where is the restroom? This is a very, very useful phrase. So, mere van a mosdó? When you are looking for the restroom, obviously. So, um, yeah, if you're in a situation that you need to go, just pop this question out and you will know. Várj egy pillanatot. Wait a moment. Várj egy pillanatot. Wait a moment. Yeah, if you want to shorten it up, then you can just say várj or in a formal way, várjon. So even though um, this phrase wait a moment sounds a bit formal in English, uh, actually Vári egy pillanatot is an informal way to say it in Hungarian because of the verb in it, to wait, várj, it's an informal way to ask somebody to wait. If you would like to say it in a more formal way or when you are at the store, uh, you have to use or you will most um, likely to hear várjon egy pillanatot. Ez mennyibe kerül? How much is this? 
Ez mennyibe kerül? How much is this? You can use this question at the store when you are not sure about the price and there is no price tag. Just ask the shop assistant. Ez mennyibe kerül? Segítség! Help! Segítség! Help! When someone attacks you or you're in a situation that you need help, that you're about to faint away or something, just scream segítség! And then someone will notice it and they will help you. Segítség! Nem tudom. I don't know. Nem tudom. I don't know. If you really don't I don't know. know. I don't know what to say. Nem tudom mit mondjak. <laughs> Később találkozunk. See you later. Később találkozunk. See you later. This is what I'm going to say at the end. Viszontlátásra. Goodbye. Viszontlátásra. Goodbye. Um, if you want to be less formal, you can say viszlát, but it's still in the formal group. If you want to say bye to your friends, just say hello or szia. It works both ways, so it's pretty convenient. That's how you say bye to your friends or you say viszontlátásra or viszlát to someone that you don't know. 10 phrases you always want to hear. Let's go! Ma nagyon jól nézel ki. You look great today. Ma nagyon jól nézel ki. You look great today. Say it to someone you want to cheer up or like you meet someone who is dressed up really nice, looking great, and then just say, Ma nagyon jól nézel ki, and they'll be super happy. Hiányzol. I miss you. Hiányzol. I miss you. I don't know any situation, I'm not dramatic. I miss people, but it's like, I don't know, when I hear this word and uh, like even the English, it's like um, I imagine some like romantic drama and like, you know, people freaking out about each other and things like that. <laughs> Nagyszerű munkát végeztél. You did a great job. Nagyszerű munkát végeztél. You did a great job. If I want to tell this sentence to our HungarianPod101.com users, then I would say, Nagyszerű munkát végeztetek. Bónuszt kapunk a hónap végén. We are going to get a bonus at the end of the month. Bónuszt kapunk a hónap végén. We are going to get a bonus at the end of the month. Te egy remek szakács vagy. You're an excellent cook. Te egy remek szakács vagy. You're an excellent cook. I like cooking, so when someone says it to me, I'm really happy. How about you? Are you enjoying cooking? Have you ever heard this from anyone? Please let us know. Tarts egy kis szünetet. Ma én takarítok. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Tarts egy kis szünetet. Ma én takarítok. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Who doesn't like to hear this? Seriously. Yeah. I want to hear it more often. Igazad volt. You were right. Igazad volt. You were right. I think uh, this expression is something what people don't really like to admit. Do you say you were right to someone in a situation? Let us know. Hoztam neked valami különlegeset. I brought you something special. Hoztam neked valami különlegeset. 
I brought you something special. I brought you something special this lesson. Ma hamarabb mehetünk haza. We can go home earlier today. Ma hamarabb mehetünk haza. We can go home earlier today. This was the magic sentence at school when our lesson was cancelled and people felt like, yes, you hit like lottery or something. It was a really good feeling. So, you know, it's always a good thing if you can go home earlier. Hogy csak, a vendégem voltál. Don't worry about it, you were my guest. Hogy csak. A vendégem voltál. Don't worry about it. You were my guest. Again, it's something very nice to hear from someone. Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hungarianpod101.com. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Köszönöm, de igazság szerint nem ez az anyanyelvem. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. Köszönöm, de igazság szerint nem ez az anyanyelvem. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. If you are super fluent in the language and then people comment or even think that you are from that country and then you say that, then people are going to be really surprised. Mindössze egy évbe telt, hogy megtanuljak folyékonyan beszélni. It took me only one year to become fluent. Mindössze egy évbe telt, hogy megtanuljak folyékonyan beszélni. It took me only one year to become fluent. When people ask you how long have you been studying a language and then you say it took you just a year to become fluent, then it's definitely impressive. Három éven belül anyanyelvi szinten fogok magyarul beszélni. I'll speak Hungarian like a native speaker in three years. Három éven belül anyanyelvi szinten fogok magyarul beszélni. I'll speak Hungarian like a native speaker in three years. Please challenge yourself and let us know if it worked out. I'm really curious how long it took for our viewers to get in, not only into native level, but like just conversational level, try it. Tíz éve tanulok magyarul. I've been learning Hungarian for 10 years. Tíz éve tanulok magyarul. I've been learning Hungarian for 10 years. How about you? How long have you been studying Hungarian? Please let us know in the comment section. Magyar filmeket felirat nélkül is tudok nézni. I can watch Hungarian movies without subtitles. Magyar filmeket felirat nélkül is tudok nézni. I can watch Hungarian movies without subtitles. To be able to watch Hungarian movies without subtitles, I think you have to be pretty much on a native speaker level. Depends on the movie too, but uh, sometimes you hear slangs or regional uh, language, then that could be a little bit difficult to understand. I think it's a good challenge to try how fluent you are to watch a movie without the subtitles and then, for example, have a discussion with your friends about the movie afterwards. That could be a really good practice. Meg tudok jegyezni 50 magyar szót egy nap alatt. I can memorize 50 Hungarian words a day. Meg tudok jegyezni 50 magyar szót egy nap alatt. I can memorize 50 Hungarian words a day. Memorizing 50 words a day is pretty impressive. I think I've never tried that much. A magyar nyelv szórakoztató és könnyen tanulható. Hungarian is fun and easy to learn. A magyar nyelv szórakoztató és könnyen tanulható. Hungarian is fun and easy to learn. That's right. Hungarian language is very interesting, I think. We have a lot of sounds, various ways how we can talk about something or even say a word. 
because of that, our literature is pretty uh, rich as well. If you are looking for a fun language, which is not really widespread yet, <laughs> then please try out Hungarian. A magyar nyelven kívül egyéb nyelveken is beszélek. Apart from knowing Hungarian, I can speak a few other languages as well. A magyar nyelven kívül egyéb nyelveken is beszélek. Apart from knowing Hungarian, I can speak a few other languages as well. I speak Hungarian, English and Japanese fluently. How about you? How many languages do you speak? Magamtól tanulok magyarul. I'm learning Hungarian all by myself. Magamtól tanulok magyarul. I'm learning Hungarian all by myself. That's very impressive, I think, if people ask you, how do you study Hungarian? And if you say, oh, it's all by myself because I'm interested, then they'll be both happy and impressed. I wonder if there are any sources in your country to study Hungarian or are you going to uh, language school or do you take lessons from a teacher or are you just studying on your own? I'm very interested, so please let us know in the comment section. Gyakran beszélek magyarul álmomban. I often speak in Hungarian in my dream. Gyakran beszélek magyarul álmomban. I often speak in Hungarian in my dream. That's a very interesting thing that if you get to that level that you start to think and even dream in a foreign language, then probably you're really good at it. Top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. Let's go. Velem vacsoráznál. Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Yeah, it's a very common question if you are asking someone out for a dinner date in Hungary. So if you hear this, the person wants to go out to a dinner with you. Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? This is not necessarily a suggestion for a date, but you can use it if you are not sure if the person is interested in you 100%, like in a romantic way, maybe just as a friend. But still, this question is safe to ask if you want to hang out with the person during the weekend. Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? This is quite a casual question in Hungarian. The nuance is quite casual, so it's not referring to any romantic um, date suggestion. So it's just like you can say it to your buddies, like, would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Yeah, you can use it that way, but at the same time, again, if you're not sure if the other person whom you like uh, likes you back the same way, but you just, you know, want to spend time with the person, feel free to ask this question. It's safe. Annyira aranyos vagy. Annyira aranyos vagy. You are so cute. Annyira aranyos vagy. You're so cute. Yes, this is a nice compliment. Annyira aranyos vagy. Yes. I like that. And I like to say it to other people too. Even though I might be not interested in a romantic way in them. But yeah, if you like a guy or if you're like a girl, they will probably be very happy if you say this to them. Remekül nézel ki. 
Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Again, this is a compliment which is safe to use and it just makes people feel good. So use it either in a friendly or a romantic way. Nagyszerű este volt. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Uh, at the end of your date night, don't forget to thank the person who went out with you. And a great way to do that is to say this sentence. Majd hívlak. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. <laughs> this is tricky. The person can mean it or not. Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? What time should we meet tomorrow? Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? What time should we meet tomorrow? Use this question when you would like to arrange the date or just an appointment with someone. It can be used either way. Just arrive on time. Láthatlak újra? Láthatlak újra? Can I see you again? Láthatlak újra? Can I see you again? It's a positive sign after a date if you get this question. I think in Hungary it's used mainly by men so that they show that they are interested in their date. No, I don't say it to guys, sorry, no. Okay, use this question if you are interested in meeting your date. Ah, oh, next time. Menjünk máshova? Menjünk máshova? Shall we go somewhere else? Menjünk máshova? Shall we go somewhere else? Use this question when you would like to switch places. For example, you want to try another location to hang out or you don't like the place where your date is, but you don't want to say it directly. So you can just ask, menjünk máshova? And then, yeah, you can switch places. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then, as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations. Or, even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations, just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So, as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So, start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. 
On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Gabriella. How are your Hungarian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Egy nő megkér valamire egy eladót a könyvesboltban. Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Elnézést! Meg szeretnék nézni egy könyvet azon a polcon. Melyik könyvet szeretné? Az autókról szóló könyvet. Egy pillanat kérem. Ez az? Pontosan. Parancsoljon! Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Egy nő megkér valamire egy eladót a könyvesboltban. Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Elnézést! Meg szeretnék nézni egy könyvet azon a polcon. Melyik könyvet szeretné? Az autókról szóló könyvet. Egy pillanat kérem. Ez az? Pontosan. Parancsoljon! Egy férfi és egy nő néznek egy étlapot egy étteremben. Mit rendelt a férfi? Mit szeretné rendelni? Ez a pizza finomnak néz ki. Ezt kérek. Én tegnap ettem pizzát, úgyhogy... Ö, akkor mit szólsz ehhez a hamburgerhez? Jól hangzik, ezt kérek. Mit rendelt a férfi? Egy férfi és egy nő néznek egy étlapot egy étteremben. Mit rendelt a férfi? Mit szeretné rendelni? Ez a pizza finomnak néz ki. Ezt kérek. Én tegnap ettem pizzát, úgyhogy... Ö, akkor mit szólsz ehhez a hamburgerhez? Jól hangzik, ezt kérek. Egy férfi egy klinikával beszél telefonon. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Halló, miben segíthetek? Meddig vannak nyitva ma? 
Hat óraig. De fél hat előtt jöjjön, kérem. Rendben. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Egy férfi egy klinikával beszél telefonon. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Halló, miben segíthetek? Meddig vannak nyitva ma? Hat óraig. De fél hat előtt jöjjön, kérem. Rendben. Egy fiú a naplóját olvassa. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször aznap? Ma nagyon jó idő volt. Ezen a délutánon elmentem egy uszodába, és este elmentem megnézni egy filmet. Reggel még tanultam is. Ez egy nagyon jó nap volt. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször aznap? Egy fiú a naplóját olvassa. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször aznap? Ma nagyon jó idő volt. Ezen a délutánon elmentem egy uszodába, és este elmentem megnézni egy filmet. Reggel még tanultam is. Ez egy nagyon jó nap volt. Egy nő és egy férfi egy fényképet néz. Melyik fényképet nézik? Ez a fiod foci csapatának a fényképe, ugye? Melyik a te fiod? Ez az. Ó, ő a legmagasabb a csapatban. Magasabb nálam. Melyik fényképet nézik? Egy nő és egy férfi egy fényképet néz. Melyik fényképet nézik? Ez a fiod foci csapatának a fényképe, ugye? Melyik a te fiod? Ez az. Ó, ő a legmagasabb a csapatban. Magasabb nálam. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time.